okay so let's check out how to use postgres shell in windows so the first thing i want you to do is uh, make sure that you have postgres for windows properly installed you can check out my earlier video for the same and then open your desktop go to all programs then check out postgres and here you have option for starting postgres server so you have to run this before opening your shell here okay so once you click on this uh, it will ask you for admin access and it will run the background script and that service is necessary for us to run commands on postgres shell okay so make sure to click on this and then you can click on this sql shell once you click on that it will open interface such as this okay it will show you uh, your postgres version that is if you open it through its own shell if you choose to open it through your windows command prompt then it won't show you this version and other help information okay so first time when you open shell you have to make use of help command so that you understand which command you can use so here you have four options which are first for slash h for any help on your sql commands then slash question mark for help with the sql commands slash g for terminating a query in between while it's running then slash q to exit this command prompt okay so let's start with our first command let's check out how to show our current data directory where postgres is saving all our database and tables Okay, so type in show, then type in data underscore directory, and then comma. Hit enter, and it will show you the path where you have Postgres installed and where the data for Postgres is installed. Okay, now the next thing we can do is now the next thing is we can display all the databases in our postgres using this backward slash and then l and then plus hit enter and you will find list of databases that are on your postgres database right now so all these are by default uh, without I'm creating any specific new database all are these with default installation okay similarly you can find out list of tables within these database or your current using backward slash d and then plus for all the tables within your database okay so it will do you did not find any relation with your existing database so it will list only the tables with respect to current database if there is any then it will be listed or it will give such notice okay after that we can also check out version so select version and then comma hit enter and it will show you the version that is installed on your windows okay this is a sql query for finding the version you can also find out using backward slash then exclamation mark then p sql space dash capital v and hit enter and it will find you uh, it will find you the postgres version that usually showed on client and server side okay similarly we can also use one more command which is select now 
that will show you current time and date that is running for this PostgreSQL server. Okay, so this is today's date, time, okay, plus time zone under which it is running. Okay, uh, so so far we have seen total six commands, and finally let's check out command which allows you to quit this shell which is going to be slash q this will close this shell script okay so these are some commands that you need to know uh, in order to understand your postgres shell better in next video uh, we are going to take a look at some of the shell commands that allow you to create database create table insert data update data delete data and delete table and delete database